and demean me. But now, after years of me trying to warn you all, here we are. Spider-Man has literally brought a plague down upon us. Why do I blame him and not Martin Lee? I do blame Martin Lee. He deserves swift justice, but he's a lunatic terrorist. This is what they do. Whereas Spider-Man claims to be a hero. Yet he obviously knew about the threat and didn't warn us. He either thought he'd handled it, which makes him criminally negligent, or he was in on it, which makes him a terrorist too. Mr. Again. Bet you're wondering why I'm back in the game. Straight and narrow just got boring. My target number's 50 million. Nice round number, don't you think? Found you. But if you catch me before I hit my goal, I'll give it all back and go straight. My future's in your hands, Spider. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size. Uh, maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with your team up? I thought you were a loner. Ah, it means an end. All of now it means an end. for these particular means. Ah, freedom! True freedom! No more you! No more rhino! Stimulating battle 
outside chat! <laughs> you are funny, Malik. I am almost sorry to destroy your tiny face. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's where you cut in, right? What would you gonna do if I didn't show up? Make him to give up? Yes, sir, that is exactly what I would have done. Like an old married couple, you two. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's where you cut in, right? What were you going to do if I didn't know what? Beg him to give up? Yes, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! How did you not see that coming? Distracted by whining! An Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about the We Murdered Spider Man in this <laughs> court for a blanket today? Target, please! You embarrassed yourself! Gotta get Scorpion on the ground. Gadget's <laughs> Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's going to be here, right? What were you going to do if I didn't show up? Take him to give up? Yes, that is exactly what I have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! Ah. You guys 
Captain Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The scary six? The dirty half dozen? How about it? We murdered the fire man and used his corpse for a blanket today. Target, please! You embarrassed yourself! Now! That's a hit, Gargan! Keep talking to me! I'll take care of you after I finish the fuck! Get him, you idiot! Get him! Come down the rock! Guys, please! There's plenty of me to go around! Promise you, Scorpion. Money. Gargan has no principle. He fights for justice. Untrue. I'd rip Spider-Man face off for Gargan. I don't want to my sense. Have to stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your soul uncrushed? There is fun in that! Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you, freak show! Time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leaf Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find a lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Riot has broken out. Report came in from Douglas. More and more listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's boring. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. 